What's up guys, wanted to give you guys a real quick tutorial here, a real close look here. As we saw on the Xbox One, you have the uh, HDMI out, you've got the HDMI in. The reason for that is you can actually bring in your satellite or cable connection because of that new snap feature, how you're able to watch TV, play game, have the dashboard, the kind of the, really, really, Microsoft's really trying to drown in the living room experience and capture on that. So, some of you may actually have an existing receiver right now. Some of you may also be running, you know, satellite TV or cable box, and this will work for either satellite TV or cable box, and you have your receiver. So maybe you're running all your components into your receiver, and then you had a single HDMI out coming out of your receiver. That's perfect, because if you want, the easiest way to do this is take that single cable that was coming out of your receiver over to your satellite or cable box and unplug it. So for example, that's what we've done here. We've taken this cable that used to be plugged into our satellite before we got the Xbox One, this one right here, we unplugged it. What we did with it is we plugged it into HDMI out to TV. The reason is, is our receiver is actually doing the switching. So we'll just plug that in there. Then we took the supplied HDMI cable from Xbox and we plugged it in the HDMI in. We took that and we brought it down to the back of our cable box. So now what we've done is we've taken a cable here, which is HDMI in on the Xbox to our cable box. And then we've just completed the circuit by taking HDMI out right here, right back to our receiver. So now what we're actually able to do is bring in that content via HDMI from our cable TV through the Xbox, pass it, switch it through the Xbox, and then switch it back to your receiver. So don't let kind of that first setup of how this is going to pan out, you know, intimidate you. You know, you've got your HDMI out, like I said, to TV, HDMI in, which is from your satellite or your cable box, like we show you. So just take your existing cable, if you want, from your satellite box now and unplug it and bring it up here. Take the supplied cable, if you didn't choose to go this way, from your HDMI out and go right back to your receiver or to your TV if you're not running a receiver. So, just wanted to kind of show you guys, there's not a lot of videos on a real quick tutorial how to set up the Xbox One with DirecTV and a receiver. Um, optical out is an option if you guys still want that because as you know, sound is passed through there. So, if you don't want to use that anymore, disconnect it and you can do that. So, yeah, that's just kind of a real quick first look at using the new Xbox One with a DirecTV or could be a Comcast as well as a receiver. So if you've got a setup like this, uh, just follow the steps in there. Like I said, go over it real quick one more time. Just take the cable that was going to your receiver from your satellite box, unplug it. Plug it into HDMI out to your TV because now all you're doing is saying, okay, cable box, here's the cable box coming up into the Xbox, from the Xbox back to our receiver because our receiver ultimately has one cable anyway, transferring everything up to the television via HDMI. So we do all the switching through the receiver. So this throws a little loop in there, but nonetheless, with just a little thought process, you guys will figure it out. So if this video kind of helped you out, connect your Xbox One to your home theater, please leave us a comment. Go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Add this to your favorite. And this is Ryan with Fast Electronic and Loud, and we do try to bring it to you fast, electronic, and of course loud. Go ahead and uh, click subscribe, and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.